let's talk about some of the differences between dust mites and bed bugs. While both bugs can bite and live in your bed, only one of them is feeding on your blood. Remember, just because you find bed bugs, it doesn't mean you don't have dust mites too. Both of these bugs can live simultaneously in your bed. Some of the main differences between dust mites and bed bugs involve their size, behavior, and shape. Did you know that 90% of house dust mites belong to three species? However, there are around 13 species of dust mites that can live within our homes. This is why if you sleep in a new bed or go to a hotel or Airbnb, you could get exposed to a new species of dust mite and have an allergic reaction to it. So first, let's talk about size. Dust mites are microscopic, but bed bugs are not. The average bed bug is between 1.5 millimeters and 6.5 millimeters from baby to adult. On the other hand, the average dust mite is between 0.2 and 0.3 millimeters, which is significantly smaller than a bed bug. Now let's talk about the color of dust mites versus bed bugs. Bed bugs are generally reddish brown and they'll be brighter red if you see one right after a blood meal. On the other hand, a dust mite ranges in color from clear to white to gray. However, you won't see this color unless you use magnification. What about the life cycle? Well, a bed bug hatches from an egg and goes through five stages of nymphs and then reaches an adult. On average, a bed bug will complete its life cycle in four to eight weeks. Unlike bed bugs, dust mites have a larval stage. A dust mite goes from egg to larvae to nymph to adult. Depending on the species, climate, humidity, and food, they'll complete their life cycle in three to eight weeks. Now let's talk about their diet. What do dust mites and bed bugs eat? Bed bugs are parasites that rely on the blood of mammals and birds to survive. Bed bugs cannot thrive forever without a proper blood meal, but there are studies that show they can live for up to a year without a blood meal, but this is under optimal conditions. And then we have dust mites. They're not biting us. They feed on skin cells, animal dander, bacteria, and mold spores. Did you know that everyday humans shed enough skin to provide enough food for one million dust mites? Dust mites cause allergic reactions and they can appear to look like bites. Vacuuming on and around your bed frame, headboard, couches will help reduce the dust mite population. How long does each of these critters live for? While bed bugs generally live for three to eight months, However, they've been known to last for up to a year. Bed bugs can survive for extended periods of time without consuming blood. They do this by conserving their energy and staying very still. But dust mites have a much shorter lifespan. They'll live for about one to three months. They can survive for much longer if the air is humid. Dust mites absolutely need to absorb water from the environment, so they won't last long in dry environments. How fast do dust mites and bed bugs spread? Bed bugs spread by hitchhiking a ride on your clothing and finding a way to a new place. So if you take precautions, always heat treat your clothing upon arriving home, you'll minimize your chances of getting bed bugs. Now let's talk about how fast dust mites spread. The most common way dust mites spread is through fabric articles. Like for instance, if you borrow a piece of clothing from someone that's been sitting in a dusty drawer under their bed, there's a good chance it's infested with dust mites. And if these particular dust mites are not the species that your skin is used to, you could break out in a rash. So if you get any used furniture or clothing, it's always best to clean it thoroughly. This can mean vacuuming it or putting it in a high heat dryer. Using an air purifier with a HEPA filter like the Coway air purifier can capture tons of dust mites on the pre-filter. We'll link to this air purifier in the description. It's one that we use every single day. This air purifier is a lifesaver and greatly reduces dust mites in your home. But the thing to remember is you have to clean the pre-filter once a month. You could either vacuum it or wash it in a sink. How about bites? Bed bugs need to bite us to survive. They feed on blood. On the other hand, dust mites do not bite or penetrate our skin like bed bugs. However, they do thrive on our skin cells. This is why vacuuming is imperative to avoid dust mites taking over your home. Are bed bugs and dust mites both nocturnal? Bed bugs are most active and lively during the night hours, and they prefer to bite us during a deep sleep. On the other hand, dust mites are active all day and night. However, your symptoms may worsen at night if your mattress, bed frame, and box spring have a lot of dust. Using encasements can help reduce the number of dust mites on your mattress and box spring. The protective cover will not only help with dust mites, but it can also help you monitor and prevent bed bugs. 
We'll link in the description to these encasements as well. So how do you know whether you have dust mites or bed bugs? Well, chances are if you have a lot of dust around your bed, then you have dust mites. But this does not mean that you don't have bed bugs as well. Regardless of the dust mite issue, you can also have an active bed bug problem. Bed bugs leave behind telltale signs, like droppings and shed skins. Check out some of our other videos on the telltale signs of bed bugs. So both dust mites and bed bugs can cause a lot of problems, stress, and anxiety, but each of these bugs is solvable. Doing a lot of vacuuming around your mattress, bed frame, and headboard is extremely important for both types of bugs. We recommend this as a step one. Feel free to drop us a line in the comment section if you think you have either one of these bugs taking over your home. Your comment may in turn help someone else dealing with these creatures. Thanks for watching the video. We have plenty of others on carpet beetles versus bed bugs and fleas versus bed bugs.